Generally, there's two ways to configure the voltage on Intel platforms, adaptive mode and override mode. Override mode specifies a single static voltage across all ratios. It is mostly used for extreme overclocking purposes where stability at very high frequencies is the only consideration. Adaptive mode is the standard mode of operation. In adaptive mode, the VF curve used is generated automatically by the CPU and covers the CPU ratios from the lowest supported ratio to the default maximum turbo ratio. In the case of the 10900K, that's from 8x to 53x. VF curve stands for voltage frequency curve. The VF curve determines which voltage the CPU should set for a certain frequency. The entire VF curve can be offset by up to 500 millivolts in both directions. Also, since Comet Lake, Intel has extended the adaptive voltage function with an advanced voltage offset. It is implemented in the ASUS BIOS as the VF point offset. VF point offset allows the user to change the default VF curve by offsetting the voltage at certain frequencies on the VF curve. So we can offset the VF curve either with a global offset or an offset at a specific point of the VF curve with VF point offset. Anyway, we must choose between adaptive mode and override mode. Since we're configuring a very dynamic system with frequencies ranging from 50x to 60x and active cores ranging from one active core to 10 active cores, obviously we have to choose for adaptive mode. Now, how do we know which voltage to set? That's both very simple and very complex. I'll try to keep it short and simple. There are three steps to how your system sets the CPU voltage in adaptive mode. First, the motherboard BIOS tells the processor the current load line characteristics via AC-DC load line values. Then, the CPU will request a voltage from the voltage controller based on its own programmed VF curve as well as the load line characteristics. Finally, the voltage that reaches the CPU is the requested voltage minus any undershoot or overshoot from the VRM load line. The AC-DC load line characteristics are basically a way for the motherboard to inform the CPU about the VRM design. Based on the specific design, the CPU will factor in a certain voltage droop when requesting a VID. Voltage droop is the decrease of voltage when a core goes from idle to full load. The VRM load line setting determines how much the output voltage increases or decreases when the CPU goes from a low load to a high load and vice versa. Simply put, a big undershoot or big overshoot can result in an unstable setting. So VRM load line helps to mitigate these problems. You can check out the article titled VRM load line visualized by Elmore Labs for more details. So now that we know how voltage setting works in adaptive mode, a couple more things. First, unless you use either offset or VF point offset, the adaptive mode voltage you set in the BIOS only applies when the frequency is higher than the highest default maximum turbo ratio, or in the case of the 10900K, any ratio above 53X. For any ratio of 53X or lower, the default VF curve is followed. There are also specific rules that govern the voltage that can be set. For one, the voltage set for a specific ratio cannot be lower than the voltage set at a lower ratio. Meaning, if our 10900K is specified to run 53X at 1.5V, then setting adaptive voltage to anything below 1.5V is pointless. Also, the adaptive voltage configured for any ratio below the maximum default turbo ratio will be ignored. Take the same example of the 10900K, which is specified to run 53X at 1.5V. If we try to, for example, configure all cores to 52x and set 1.5 volt, the CPU will ignore this because it has its own specified voltage for all ratios up to 53x and will use this voltage. So, returning to our BIOS configuration. For all frequencies below 53x, we can use the default VF curve to determine the right voltage. For all frequencies over 53x, we must determine the right voltage. We have two good options. Either we set the adaptive voltage manually or we set a VF.8 offset. Either way we use to set the voltage will work. Just remember that the set voltage is also dependent on other factors like load line. Also remember that the voltage from 53x to 60x will be set equally. So my 54x 6 cores fully active will get the same voltage as my 60x 1 core in idle.